VTech Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry, The Mo. This is a, a very important video. The kind of building on each other now. You must understand this video. If you don't, you don't understand the next one, etc. So take your time, get your head round this. It is tricky at first, but when you get used to it, it's not that bad. The mole. Now, what is a mole? A mole is just a very big number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's 600,000 million, million, million. It's a big number. What is it the number of? It's the number of carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon. Okay, if we had 12 grams of carbon, like the stuff inside a pencil, then you would have that many carbon atoms. That is what a mole is. It's the number of carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon is a mole. So bearing that in mind, uh, how many atoms are there in one mole of carbon? How many atoms are there in a mole of magnesium? How many atoms are there in a mole of helium? Scribble these answers on paper. The answers are that many atoms. Okay, because it's a mole. A mole is a number. It's a big number. It's that number. We won't actually use that number. We're not going to use that number in chemistry. Uh, in physics we do, in radioactivity, but not in chemistry. It's just a mole. It's a big number. So, how many moles of atoms are there in 12 grams of carbon? How many moles of atoms in 120 grams of carbon? How many moles in a kilogram of carbon? Scribble down the answers. And the answers are... Well, 12 grams of carbon is a mole. Uh, so 120 grams will be 10 moles. Uh, a kilogram is 1,000 grams. So 1,000 divided by 12, 83.3 moles. What is the mass of a mole of magnesium? How many moles are there in 500 grams of magnesium? How many moles are there in a kilogram, sorry, one gram of helium? How many moles? So, scribble the answers down. The answers are a mole of magnesium is 24 grams. If you look at the relative atomic masses, uh, 12 grams of carbon is a mole. 24 grams of magnesium is a mole. 4 grams of helium is a mole. Okay, so a mole of magnesium will be 24 grams. If you like, a, a magnesium atom is twice as heavy as a carbon atom. Uh, how many moles are there in 500 grams of magnesium? Well, that will be 500 divided by 24 is 20.8 20 moles. And then how many moles in a gram of helium? Well, that will be a quarter of a mole, 0.25 moles. Chemists prefer to deal with the number of atoms involved rather than the mass. And when I say the number of atoms, I mean the number of moles. Chemists like to deal with the number of moles. If you look at this diagram above, you've got five, uh, one, two, three, sorry, six carbons. Uh, you've got six oxygen molecules and you're going to get six carbon dioxide molecules. And we don't really care that much about the mass of the different things. It's the number of atoms or the number of moles which is important. How many atoms are there in 7 grams of helium? How many atoms are there in 56 grams of iron? Now, you should have a copy of a periodic table. Your teacher should have given you one by now. I believe there's one in the revision guide. Get used to using it. Find out what the relative atomic mass is. And then these particular ones should be pretty straightforward because I believe they're all one mole. OK. Uh, the mass of a mole of something is big M. That's its molar mass. OK. The mass of a mole of something is basically its relative atomic mass in grams. 
So the molar mass of carbon is 12 grams. The molar mass of carbon dioxide is 48 grams. Uh, the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.5 grams. So big M is the relative atomic mass or the molar mass in grams. So these questions are a bit trickier now. How many atoms uh, in one gram of lithium? How many atoms in one gram of iron? I'm actually going to say, don't give the answer in number of atoms. Just say how many moles there are. So for lithium, it's going to be a seventh of a mole. If we know the mass of something, how can we calculate the number of moles? So here's a little triangle for you. Little m is the mass. Little n is the number of moles. And big M is the relative atomic mass or the molar mass. Okay, so learn this triangle. And then use this triangle to work these out. And in the examples below, use the relative atomic mass from a periodic table to one decimal place and give your answers to one decimal place. We're going to be doing one decimal place in all our calculations from now on. So calculate the number of moles in the following and calculate the mass of the following. If you're in my class, this would be a homework. I'm not going to tell you the answer.